Get ready to dive into chilling tales from the Vietnam War and elsewhere. In this video, we uncover stories of psychological terror, relentless bombings, even hookers and drugs, gangsters and more. Join us as we explore the haunting legacy of this tumultuous time in history. From Operation Wandering Soul to Operation Rolling Thunder, from Operation Midnight Climax to Operation Mongoose, we delve into the dark chapters that left lasting impacts. Stay tuned as we unravel these intriguing narratives. The Terror of Operation Wandering Soul During the Vietnam War, U.S. troops used psychological terror alongside physical weapons. In Vietnamese culture, it is believed that a proper burial in one's birthplace ensures contentment in the afterlife. U.S. forces exploited this belief by implementing Operation Wandering Soul. They played recordings of disturbing moans on loudspeakers and planes, convincing Vietnamese soldiers that the souls of their fallen comrades were among them. While not all soldiers were convinced, the tactic struck fear in many and reminded them of the possibility of death if defeated. Operation Midnight Climax, a brief overview. In 1954, the CIA launched Operation Midnight Climax, a covert project that utilized safe houses in San Francisco, Mill Valley, and New York City for clandestine experimentation. Under the guise of employing prostitutes, the CIA sought to drug unsuspecting individuals, primarily using LSD to explore the possibilities of mind control. The revelation of Operation Midnight Climax fueled public fascination and fear during the 1950s, contributing to widespread concerns about brainwashing and brain warfare. Operation Midnight Climax continued for 12 years, from 1954 to 1966, stirring ethical concerns due to the non-consensual dosing of Americans with LSD. Decades later, the truth about Operation Midnight Climax came to light, shedding a chilling spotlight on the controversial and unethical nature of the clandestine project. Operation Midnight Climax remains a haunting reminder of the lengths to which clandestine operations will go, leaving a lasting impact on history. Operation Ranch Hand, 1962 to 1971, was a U.S. military initiative during the Vietnam War, involving herbicidal warfare, inspired by the British use of 2, 4, 5T, and 2, 4D, Agent Orange, over 20 million gallons of herbicides, including Agent Orange, were sprayed over Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos to defoliate areas used by the Viet Cong Operation Ranch Hand, used aircraft like C-123 providers for spraying herbicides, gradually expanding both frequency and coverage aimed at exposing Viet Cong trails and roads, denying them cover in the dense jungle, hindering ambushes and movements. Approximately 19 million gallons of herbicides, with Agent Orange being a significant component, were sprayed during the operation. Operation Ranch Hand significantly altered the landscape and had long-lasting environmental and health consequences, leading to ongoing discussions about its ethical and environmental impact. Note, President John F. Kennedy approved the operation on January 18, 1962. In the dark heart of the Cold War, Operation Mongoose unfolded, a covert mission orchestrated by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency. Its target, the Cuban government led by Fidel Castro, with General Edward Lansdale and William King Harvey at the helm. This campaign employed terrorism and sabotage to achieve its aims. From the secret station JM Wave in Miami, the operation unleashed a barrage of propaganda, spreading anti-Castro messages throughout Latin America. They purchased real estate, established communication centers, and devised outrageous plots to discredit Castro. Chemicals were considered to disorient him. Even his shoes were to be laced with salts that would make his beard fall out. As tensions mounted, lives hung in the balance. Operation Mongoose became a high-stakes game of deception and danger. Its success or failure could alter the course of history. But behind closed doors, only a select few knew the full extent of this clandestine operation. In this treacherous world of spies and secrets, every move mattered. The weight of nations rested on the shoulders of Lansdale, Harvey, and their team. As the shadows deepened, they ventured further into a realm of intrigue, where loyalty was fleeting and betrayal lurked in every corner. Operation Mongoose stood as a testament to the lengths governments would go to protect their interests. In this battle of wits, the line between hero and villain blurred leaving a legacy of clandestine actions that would forever shape the course of history. The Dread of Operation Rolling Thunder During the Vietnam War, Operation Rolling Thunder unleashed relentless bombings and terror upon the Vietnamese landscape. Locals lived in constant fear, never knowing when the next strike would come. Amidst the chaos, rumors spread of a phantom plane that flew silently through the night, striking terror into those who witnessed it. Some claim to have heard ghostly wails and cries emanating from the plane, as if the souls of the fallen were exacting their revenge on the living. One night, a group of soldiers ventured into the jungle, searching for signs of the elusive phantom plane. As they trudged deeper into the darkness, they heard a haunting melody that sent shivers down their spines. Suddenly, they were surrounded by an otherworldly glow, 
and the air grew heavy with an eerie presence. Whispers of long-lost comrades filled the air, and the soldiers realized they were not alone. Each step they took seemed to lead them further into a realm of terror, where the spirits of those lost in the bombings sought vengeance on the living. From that night on, the soldiers were haunted by the chilling echoes of Operation Rolling Thunder, a reminder of the horror that lurked in the darkness. William King Bill Harvey, the legendary CIA officer, was a man of intrigue and danger. Dubbed America's James Bond, he embarked on covert missions that shaped history. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, Harvey's brilliance became evident during World War II, specializing in counterintelligence. He founded Staff D, an elite electronic surveillance branch, and led operations in Berlin, constructing a tunnel to spy on Soviet communications. Harvey's audacity reached new heights with Operation Mongoose, where he enlisted the American Mafia to undermine Fidel Castro's regime. However, his involvement in unauthorized activities during the Cuban Missile Crisis tarnished his reputation. Struggling with alcoholism and health issues, Harvey retired from the CIA in 1968. His legacy remains a mix of courage and controversy. The true extent of his involvement in pivotal moments may never be fully known. On that fateful day in Indianapolis, Harvey's heart ceased to beat, marking the end of an era. His name lives on as a symbol of espionage and unwavering determination. In the annals of history, William King Bill Harvey is remembered as an enigmatic figure who navigated the treacherous world of intelligence with skill and resolve. Thank you for joining us on this journey through haunting tales from the Vietnam War. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating historical content, and let me know in the comments which tale you liked best. Stay tuned for our next video.